everybody, Tiny Leaf here, and welcome to the first video of 2020. I apologize if I sound stuffed up or congested. My allergies are not responding well to the change in weather where I'm living. Uh, it is currently 15 degrees right now outside, and I am pretty much snowed in. So while I'm trapped inside drawing everybody's favorite hope enthusiast, I want to give you guys a bit of an update about my plans for the new year since it's been a while since we last spoke. So first item on the agenda, when's the next video coming out? I posted about this a few times in the community tab, but I took a few weeks off of video production because of finals and the holiday season. I didn't have any time to work while I was at school and I couldn't really find any good place to film. So I held off until I was officially on winter break to start production in earnest. But the next video, Why Do People Hate Ding and Rumpa V3, is about two thirds of the way done. There's been some technical difficulties with getting footage, dealing with storage space on my computer, and camera lighting, but I'm working at a steady pace right now. I've taken a few days off though because I'm in the process of moving back to my college dorm. But provided that nothing goes horribly wrong, the plan right now is for the video to be up by the first week of February, so I will try to have it up by then, if not even sooner. But after that video, I do have some other video projects in mind that I've already started drafting scripts for. In fact, I already have drafts for three future videos. I plan on releasing them sometime this year, although there's no set order on when they're going to be released, and some of them may be delayed longer depending on what else catches my interest in between. But here's what I have so far. Project 1 is about Zero Escape 999. It's a visual novel mystery series created by the same people behind Danganronpa, and I got this game recommended to me a while back, and I've almost finished 100%ing it. However, I still need to finish the last route because I am not fully ready to admit that the game is almost over. But right now, the video is going to be about the first game only, and I'm going to spend some time talking about why it works so well, and because I know it's not as popular as the other games that I cover on my channel, other game, <laughs> it's going to be spoiler free until the very end of the video. So if you want to play through the first game by yourself before then, you still got plenty of time to do so. But if you don't want to and that's not an option right now, you can still enjoy the video when it comes up because most of it is still going to be spoiler free. Project 2 is about Five Nights at Freddy's. It originally started as a joke script, but then my friends egged me on on Twitter.com and now it's an actual thing. It's not going to be a lore video because, dear lord, I know I do not have the strength for that. Instead, it's going to be a retrospective about what made the original game so popular and kind of discussing the direction that the series has taken on in recent years. As a longtime fan of the series who dropped off back in 2017, I've had a lot of thoughts recently about the franchise as a whole and this is going to be sort of a cathartic video for me to make. <laughs> And Project 3 is the heavily requested Let's Rewrite Danganronpa V3 Chapter 3. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Best case scenario, I'd like to upload this on the anniversary of my first rewrite. But I'm really taking my time with this one because there are so many moving pieces and I want this to be even better than my first rewrite. So I'm taking my time to look through all the criticism that I received on my first video, kind of fine tuning it, and I want to make this second rewrite video 15 times better than the first. But even discounting those projects, I still have ideas of where I want to go through in the future, even though these are much more distant plans. Once I eventually finish Zero Escape, I plan on starting my first playthrough of Ultra Despair Girls. I might do a live tweet of the game on Twitter when I play through it, but since I play through games very slowly, I have no idea when I'm going to even get around to that game. But after that, I do have a few other game series in mind afterwards, so I don't have a lack of material to say the least. But I also plan on revisiting the rest of the Zero Escape series. I'm just going to split it up so I'm not playing the same thing over and over again. And of course, I plan on revisiting the older Danganronpa games. I still haven't played through Trigger Happy Havoc and... I kind of want to get around to playing it for myself. I've talked before about redoing another execution from one of the games, but a lot of people have expressed that they would like to see a character video done about the other two classes. 
When am I going to get around to that? Still not sure. But when I do, would there be a class that you would prefer to see over the other? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I have plenty to say about both, it's just a matter of which one you would want to see me tackle first. But other than that, I think it's going to be the end of the update video. Thanks again for all of your patience, guys. I know that this has been taking a while, and I just kind of want to make sure that you guys know I'm not dead. I'm going to try and be more active on my Twitter account. That's actually my New Year's resolution. But the most reliable place to get updates is going to be in my community tab because I think that's going to be more accessible to most of my audience, and I don't want to drag anybody to Twitter. So until we meet again, enjoy the rest of the speed draw, and have a happy new year. This is Tiny Leaf, signing off.